bit. You all set? We got one passenger. And my granddaughter Symphony is piloting. Well, Symphony, we're just going to get started on this adventure. So we'll take it out to pasture and run around, see what you think of it. Get our helmets on. But this has 72 horsepower and almost has an eight-gallon tank, which is kind of weird because I only could put two gallons in when I filled it up. It's over there. You have to open the door to get to the gas tank. But these are fun. They ride so nice. We're out here in the prairie. We may chase some cows or do something wild out here in the grass pastures. Eastern Colorado with all kinds of sunflowers. So stay tuned. See us jumping the hills. Oh, there's the, that's not the engine compartment. This is the fluid compartment. The engine is under the seat somewhere in a big box. This is what the front compartment shows. And there's that cool winch. We're going to winch something right now. Episode 2 of The Whiny Granddaughter. <laughs> is a cool dash in here and what we was trying to figure out when we did you got intelligent four-wheel drive and then you have two-wheel drive and then you have turf and what the turf does it actually disconnects the rear end because you know all these just like our ATVs our ranchers they uh, have a solid rear end so that's always engaged well may not work on one of these machines because you might be out in some big bunch of grass or alfalfa so you put it in turf mode that disconnects the rear end so that one inside wheel doesn't tear your grass up it actually rotates like a car to turn a corner so that's what the turf mode is now we know all this stuff and all these cool now we're going to work on the winch no not my granddaughter she's not a winch she's older than that no winch is a good thing really it is it's old, old Testament times and a lot of stuff went on in the continental United States with winches. That meant a young girl. Okay. And we found the owner's manual. This would have been good to read all this. I could have figured out all this turf stuff, but anyway. Okay, so now we don't even know what some of this stuff is. What's this? Is this a bomb? Open this up. Tell me what's in there. What's in there? Tools? Oh, they don't, don't take them out. I okay. believe you. I think they're tools. You got a toolbox like a motorcycle does. Cool. And now we're going to plug in a winch. Okay, so now you got the winch control, which is in the glove box. And that plugs in right there in the glove box. Okay, now I have to turn the key on. Now let me get out there and watch you winch it. Winch it in and then we freewheel it out, I guess. Is it, what does it say on the controller itself is it where is the controller? there's it, it to, to release the winch yeah no, it just says uh, okay so I guess it goes in and back so it doesn't tell you that you can freewheel it unless there's a place on the winch to disconnect there may be yeah it's over on this on side, this side. Yeah. is there a place to disconnect this so you can freewheel it yeah. okay well anyway let's pull it back in let's see watch your fingers okay this, oh. now you can bring it in oh you couldn't bring it in before well, I, I disconnected it to pull it out. Oh, I see. You freewheeled it out. Okay, that makes sense. Well, this is kind of cool. You stand out here with your, looks like about oh, eight feet of cord. Run all this stuff. Yeah, the horn. The horn. Horn's a very good wrench. Kind of loud, but that's how they are. Okay, son. Then I'll release Yeah, it. release it. Well, I can see that. But then you come in. I was way in there. Okay, now it's freewheeling. Okay, now pull that cable out. See if we can get to the, the, the Honda Rancher ATV up there. Put it on that clevis. There you go. Oh, that's cool. So this is a dramatization. We're showing <laughs> as if we were stuck in Moab and we couldn't get it out. So now, pull the Honda in with the Honda. Wait a minute. Switch it back there. 
Yeah, take it out of free wheel, take it in lock. Okay. Okay. And now, Honda Porta Honda. Okay, lock it in four wheel drive and uh, yes, turn the key on, put it in low, put it in four wheel drive, yeah, put it in first gear. Okay, now lock the brake, lock the brake on it. Okay, shut it off. Four -wheel drive? Yeah, four wheel drive and shut it off. Let's see if this puppy can pull. Yes. Tire sliding. Oh man, look at that. That's a lot of resistance there. We're gonna load some firewood. We got our crew here. Looks like pretty big chunks of firewood. Holy cow, don't get a hernia, son. Well, that's a big chunk of wood. It's like really dead. Holy cow. Okay, okay there's one piece of wood. Yeah, snakes, just don't throw them in my direction. I think that wood is dry now. Holy cow. Heavy firewood. Do you see any snakes? Oh, geez, don't make noises like that. I might jump on top of Ryan and he have to hold me up. I'll be screaming like a little girl. <laughs> You're doing good. I don't think you can get any bigger than that. Well, is there any smaller pieces or are we done? No, it looks like they're all huge. Yeah, jeepers. I guess he thought we brought a D6 cat or something over here instead of a Honda. <laughs> okay. Now we got our firewood. Cool. I thought he was backing up. Oh, 
son? They're good. Now where's he going? Oh, I, he's gonna go check the cows. Now it looks dark in there, doesn't it? I wanted to get him when he was moving. Ma! 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 Hey! Back up! Uh, that's why it's a utility vehicle. You got, you got big chunks of firewood in here. We're going to dump them out. And the dump, the dump lever is on either side. You can go to either door, open it up, and there's the lever. Yep. Cool. You get all this netting out of here before you dump. Now I got the netting loose. Now watch how far this dumps. It dumps a long way. That's way up. Okay, Symphony, you and your new friends. Yeah, most horses do. The other ones didn't really come up. Yeah, they like friends. We're up here by Moffat Tunnel again with the family. Daughter. <laughs> Alexis. Grandson. Cameron. Granddaughter Alessandra. For our son-in-law Josh. <laughs> Now, what I was going to show you in this cool Honda, this is a Pioneer 1000 ESP. They call it a five because it holds five people. But, of course, you got park, and you got traverse, neutral. This is high range, low range, and four wheel drive is up here. And if we're on grass like we're on now, you'll put it over here in turf. Turn the key on. I don't know if you can see all the buttons, but we've got automatic transmission, which should be where I've got it set. That's the top when you go manual to automatic and then sport mode's fast but in manual or automatic with this button you can paddle shift it either one of them. If you put it in manual you paddle shift here for each gear. This is going up a gear and this side goes down a gear okay. and then if you want to just do automatic and you still want to paddle shift you can still hit the paddle shift even in automatic which is really cool. What's cool about this five passenger Honda 1000 ESP Limited is you can haul four grandkids. I got two in the back. Cameron, he's still collecting sticks. And you can fold one seat down. And with one seat folded away or folded down, you got room for a grandchild and a cooler. Or a great big cooler, no grandchild. You look like you're from outer space, Alessandra. This Honda Pioneer, besides being fun for your family, it holds five people with seat belts. You also have a dump bed when you fold the back seats down. Put your saddles, your hay, your straw. That makes it nice to carry this heavy stuff around without having to, you know, do it by hand. Get rid of the manual labor. This is awesome. It's got a tailgate. You have tailgate parties. You can haul firewood, hay, tools, guns, whatever you want back there. Head on this Pioneer 1000. Yeah, quite a bit of room. I got two bales in there, two normal sized bales. You can put anything you want to put in there. All manure, sacks of feed, your lawnmower. That would be an awesome way to get them there. And, but the bed dumps, that's what's cool about it. It dumps from either, either door, the passenger side or the driver's side. 
Looks like from over here, open the driver's side, trip. Is that cool or what? Ah! That way you can do a whole lot less manual labor. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're Truck Nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy a truck or yep. to look at a truck or judge at a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity, up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anybody else. We do MPG tests which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>